Now the final piece in the ad set level is to define your budget and schedule. So just to remind you again, we're still in this ads create tool at the ad set level. The final piece here is budgets and schedule. And we can actually get this done pretty quickly, but it is important that you understand the different options here for your campaign. Now by default, Facebook will suggest a daily budget for you. And you can see this, this is popping up for me in my example as 20 euros per day. Now you can edit this very easily, just clicking on it and changing it around. Now, one thing that you should keep in mind as you set your daily budget is that there are minimums on Facebook and those minimum uh, daily budgets will, de will depend on the campaign objective that you have chosen. So for example, if I try and put in one euro here as my daily budget, I'm going to get a notification here and it says the budget for this ad set must be at least five euros. And that's because my campaign objective is really to get clicks to a website and the minimum budget for that type of campaign is five euros per day. So I'm going to actually set this as 10 euros. Now below the daily budget, once you have set that, the next thing to really uh, define is your schedule and really when you'd like your ads to appear. And this is worth giving a little bit of thought to because by default, your ad will be scheduled to run continuously starting today. Now I am creating this ad on a Saturday. Personally, I would prefer to start it on a Monday because I think people are probably more likely to take those click throughs. They're going to be in work and maybe a little bit more serious about actually taking the action rather than just maybe browsing on the weekend. So what I'm going to do is instead of leave it at the default option, set a start and end date. And as you change these dates, an important thing to do is keep an eye on this sentence here that shows you a summary of when your ads will run and the budget that you will spend. So right now it says your ads will run for 30 days and you'll spend no more than 300 euros. Now what I'm going to do is just change this. So I'm going to start this on Monday and I am going to change this and get it to end on Thursday. So that's why it's important to keep an eye on this sentence here, because even when you set the dates, it is actually a little bit confusing about when that comes up. So there we go. Three days, not going to spend more than 30 euros. And really, this is where you want to check that everything is in order and there's going to be no surprises. So for a first campaign, it is probably a good idea to set a start and an end date. So you know uh, your, how much you're going to spend and you're not going to get any surprises. Now moving down after you have set the schedule, you can see here optimization for ad delivery. And this says link clicks here. And this is, I really just want to check that this is as you want it to be. Now remember that the campaign objective for this example is to get clicks to a website. So I want my um, ad to be built on that basis, on the basis of getting link clicks and not on getting just impressions. I don't want people just to see my ad. I want people to actually click through and I want Facebook to optimize for my campaign on that basis. Now moving down after optimization for ad delivery, you can see bid amount and by default, this is set to automatic. Now this is one of the few areas where you want to leave it on automatic. Now remember that Facebook ads and the ad platform is actually a auction. And so when you are buying ads on Facebook, you're bidding against other advertisers who want that same real estate as you want, like putting an ad in front of those same people on their Facebook newsfeed, for example. Now, I would suggest you just leave this as automatic. It works really well and it makes sure that Facebook sets the bid amount to help you get the most link clicks at the best prices. There is an option here to set manual clicks but I would only recommend that you do this if you really understand what you're doing and that you have worked out exactly how much a click is worth to you based on how many people then convert on your website after that click or make a sale or whatever. So it's a bit more of a complicated uh, thing. You have to understand all the cal calculations at every single step. And personally, I think it's just a lot easier to stick to automatic bid amount. You know how much you're going to spend and Facebook does a really good job of getting you clicks at a good price. 
Now moving down from that, you can see when you get charged. So I'm purling click, which is exactly what I want to do and not per impression. So it's more just again, making sure that everything is in place. Next up, we have ad scheduling and you can schedule your ads for specific hours of the day or the week. Now note that this option is only available if you set a lifetime budget for your campaign. So that is back up here at this section here, instead of a daily budget, setting a lifetime budget. And uh, that really is, is set up that way so that Facebook can get you the clicks that you need within a lifetime budget. And if it's restricted to doing that inside a daily budget, it, it may not be able to get you those clicks because you've set only certain time frames. Now this could be interesting, for example, if you want to offer a promotion for a local business at lunchtime and capture people who can get a coupon at that specific time only, or if you have a business that only has certain opening hours and you want to show the ad to, for that local business only when your business is open, that can be a good option for that. Finally, we have delivery type. And note that you have these little uh, information buttons here. If you're going through this and you kind of forget exactly what these things are, so you can choose a standard or accelerated delivery. Now standard delivery, as it says here, is the recommended and preferred option for most advertisers. And I would really recommend you leave this as well as standard delivery. Accelerated delivery can be useful for promoting time sensitive events and really reaching that target audience quickly. So if you wanted to spend all of your ad budget straight away, you could use that accelerated delivery option. So that covers all of those advanced options that are available there. And just to recap, this is more just checking that everything was in order. I haven't made any changes. So I'm gonna hide these advanced options. Now, one thing to do at this stage is maybe note over here, the estimated daily results. After you've set all of your targeting options and placements and budgets, you can have a look at how the estimated reach is looking for your campaign and the daily link, link, link clicks that you can be expected to do. What I would recommend maybe at this stage is that you just note down these estimated daily results. And uh, when you actually get your campaign results, you can compare these and really get a sense then of how accurate this was for your campaign. So I'm just gonna note down reach 440 to 2600 and link clicks four to 27 per day. So we can compare that in our reports afterwards. Now the next thing to do is just go ahead and click this continue button. So what I would recommend you do now is go ahead and set the budget for your campaign. I'd recommend that you do start small because that's a great thing to really kick off a first campaign. Don't put yourself in a situation where you're gonna spend too much money. So go ahead and do that, and I'll see you in the next lecture where we're getting into the ad level, creating the image and text for your ad. I'll see you there.